morning ladies I hope it's going okay with all of you so um, what we're going to do is only an exercise like I said um, yesterday on the other videos um, we are going to do um, a background and then we're going to do a, um, a foreground okay but we're only going to focus today on the background of our picture we're gonna do a lavender field um, so yeah, so um, the paint colors that we're going to use are blue. So you, you can use any blue that you want. You can use, um, if you have sky blue, you can use sky blue. If you just got like, like for instance, I've got the normal blue color. Um, you can use that. You can use navy blue or royal blue or don't, yeah, not turquoise. Don't go, go to turquoise. Um, white paint. Um, a little bit black we're going to use a little bit black so you can have your black paint and then obvious your green um rather go for the darker green and not the light green um because okay i'm going to show you guys anyway so first off we are um you're going if, if your your canvas isn't prep you're going to prep your canvas um just with white paint if you're pre um, canvas is if you're using maybe an old canvas or you're using a paper just just go before you paint on a paper if you do it in your sketchbook um, just use white paint and just go over white wait until it's dry and then we you can um, start painting so first of all we're going to use our blue just take a little bit just want to, yep, that side. Okay, so, um, okay, we are going to, I just want to add a little bit of water also, just to go over it. Um, we are going to paint the picture to different colors, or we're gonna, we're gonna paint it. This is the first time I'm doing a painting over video, so. Okay. Just stand up, it's going to be better. Okay. First I'm going to use my blue. More water. We're going to go easily there. Um remember if your paint is your acrylic paint is a little bit too thick, just um so, okay, yeah, just use a little bit of water to, um, yeah, to make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, sorry, that's aeroplanes going over. Um, I'm going to divide my canvas. Um, I don't want to go half, so I want to do it a little bit. So I want to do this part. I hope you guys is going to understand this. This part I'm going to make make it green and the rest i'm going to make blue so i just want to draw myself a line here to know this is where i must stop painting with blue okay and now you can just paint your canvas blue we are going to put the detail in so don't don't worry about that So I use one of my old canvases that I don't like and um, I was doing a, a bicycle picture and I didn't like it so I just painted over it with white PVA or acrylic paint so I just paint over it So you can take your canvas, you can make it um, a landscape or you can make it a portrait. So I, I wanted to do a landscape. Okay. Go up there. Remember when you do your, your canvas to always also do your sides. Want to cover all that side okay, and that side also. Okay. 
so I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to give it a first layer um, of paint. Then I want to close here. Okay. And then you're going to use your green. I'll just move up a little bit. So you can use any paintbrush that you want, um, that you are comfortable in. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to take my green and this whole part here, I am going to paint it green. Let me just add water again, so it's a little bit too thick. Okay, so, so today we're going to blend that two colors together, but I'm going to show you now the moment it's a little bit drier and again make sure that your um, the sides are done just give our um, canvas a nice, of a, this, this gee ons net a baie mooi afronding. As jy om in die kante paar. Sorry guys, you, you guys know that sometimes I switch over to Afrikaans. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going back to my blue because I want to give it another light layer of blue but I just waited I waited a little bit so it can be dry um, or else if it, if your canvas are too wet remember that your your I use my brush isn't so much clean if your canvas is too wet you start picking up the paint and you don't want to pick up your paint so sometimes is if it's too too wet especially with acrylic you you pick up your paint and then you get like this white marks. Okay, and you don't want to do that. We oil painting, you um, you go layer on layer on light layer. But with acrylic, if your paint is still wet, you start picking it up. for the blue to dry up I'm just gonna give my green another layer and then I will come back so just wait in between your layers um, a little bit So as you can see, I start picking up my paint now. That's not the look that we want. Okay, just going to close here. Uh, yep. Okay, so I have waited with um, for my canvas to dry, for the colors to dry. So what we're going to do now? We're going to work from top to bottom. Okay. So um, I want you to do to to understand um no wait i said it wrong um yeah um so what we're we going to do sorry guys mm -hmm. this is super new okay so we're going to work from 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 the top side of our canvas and then we're going to work down but um so i want you to do i want you to take your black so i just use um this is an old um yogurt um yogurt piece of the yogurt um lid that i'm using so all i'm going to do i'm going to take a little bit black because i'm 
we're going from dark to light just use a little bit black I want to okay so what we're going to do <laughs> okay we're gonna I'm gonna start this side but I don't want to use a lot of black just um, almost like a dry brush and then I'm gonna take my blue and I'm gonna work that black into the blue of the blue into the black so I'm gonna work it to make it a little bit darker so as you can see use a little bit water it turns a little darker so that's what we're going to do so we're first going to do the dark let's cover that okay, then I go back to my black I'm going to paint it again and I'm going to work it in going this side gonna, but only my top so I'm gonna use like this dry brush work it in with your blue paint so you can add a little bit water to bring the the dark out So the top of our canvas is going to be um, darker, so we're going to work from dark to light. Okay, I just want to switch. My brush will still green. Okay. In black until you you have the the, the shade the dark blue shade shade that you want okay back to my blue so if you're using sky blue so it's a light blue you can just use your royal blue to make it darker. So if you feel it's dark enough for you, you can go. Um, you can you can then just stop with the with your black. Okay. So now we are going lighter. So if you look at your picture. Um, just hold on okay. sorry about that so if you look at this one this is one that I've done before um, we, you you go from the top um, the work hand now is donker it's dark and then we're going lighter so now you are you are going to work you are going to work your blue in with white so we're going to do the same with the white let me just go like this i'm going to use only a little bit oh, no, but... oops so now i'm going to use the white i'm going to bring the white with the blue don't go to the grass yet don't go to the green Just want to smooth that two colors in on the top. I want to add a little bit light in. So, so as you can see, it's actually very easy. You just need to work in your light, work in your dark. Okay, now, if you're going to look at your picture, 
you've got your green and you've got your blue but you need to work in that two colors there so how you're going to do that I'm gonna use this brush I'm gonna use green I'm just gonna put my green this side and I'm gonna use blue with the white there okay. I'm gonna first use the blue and the white I wonder if the gold make your paint a little bit thicker okay so now we're gonna take the green with a clean brush not with a blue brush I'm um, going to work the green in. Just want to make it a little bit darker. There. Okay. So now comes the tricky board. It's to blend that two colors. So you don't have a line, but you have more like a flow of the two colors. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I put the white with the green, and now I need to put the blue with the white. So I need to mix that two colors together, mix that flow together. So I don't have a, um, you know, I, I don't have a, a line, but I have more flow, the flow of the two colors. Then I'll go back with the white just to bring it in. So as you can see it's it started to the two colours are st starting to flow together. So I don't want um we don't want a line of the two different um places um, of the sky and the ground we don't want a line we we want a flow okay so now we go to the to the green part now the same with the green we're going to use a little bit i almost put my brush inside my tea um, we are going to use a little bit black i use a lot of black because if you're going to look at a, a flower bedding, um, the the part here where the ground meets the flowers is usually dark. So we want to add, we want to make that a dark um, yeah a dark green, and then we want to work up light. So for instance, the sky we're moving we are painting from dark to light. Now we're going from dark to light. Now where did I put my paint paintbrush? So the same way I did my sky, I'm going to do with my grass. So I want to just, and then I want to use green, just paint that in. I hope this makes sense for you guys and that you guys understand what I'm doing. So you just now, all you're going to do is your, you blend this in. I don't know why. There you go. So I want to make it darker green. Okay. Now I'm going to just use my green, paint it again. Yeah. So I'm 
now you guys are thinking, oh, are you going over the white? So all you're going to do is I'm going to take white again. And I'm going to blend that too. Oh, too much white. Too much white. Okay. I'm just going to blend it in again. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this this exercise. It's just a it's a little ex exercise that you can do at home to maybe learn um, to blend two different um, colors, but also to blend different shades of color in. And there you go. Then next week we're going to do the rest. I'm going to show you how you work from how do you, how do you do the um, foreground. Now we already did some part of the foreground, the the grass part or the green part is already a part of the of your uh, foreground. But um, yeah, but we're just going to work from there. So what um so the conclusion of this exercise is okay let me just close up this one and this one and this one the conclusion is to paint paint it your two colors the green and the blue or the blue and the green paint that and then from there on you go to add a little bit black from the top move from dark to light and also from the cross part move from um move from dark to light and then in between you start adding your white just to blend it the two colors in together so i hope you guys enjoyed this exercise and um yeah just let me know if you're struggling with something and remember if you're busy with your other paintings um at home just um and you're struggling with something just um send a message and i will help you guys and um keep safe and yeah relax okay bye